was your takeaway after night one? Well, I'm excited to be here today with Skippy Peanut Butter, but for night one, I'm really proud of the athletes for all kind of coming together and just making it through the competition. I know they've been dealt, we've been dealt a lot of downs. So we, we'd like some more ups for this competition, but, but the way they were able to pull together and fight through and compete, um, you know, with watching teammates get injured this week and then during the competition, it's been really hard um, emotionally for all of us and especially for the ones who got injured. So by being able to compete is and just is a win at this moment. Great. I'm going to add a light and a little sun. Okay. I used to do this, like the one-man podcast. Oh, really? I, I bet. No worries. Um, I mean, you've been in the shoes before, so you remember what this is like very well. Um, yeah. And no one else could understand, like, a, a gymnast herself. So what is it like to you know, be here this weekend, waiting for your name, holding it's called? What is that like? Take me back. Being at Olympic trials is, is very stressful. It, you know, it's... It is the like win or go home competition. You know, if you aren't quite at your best or you don't have your best competition, you know, over the two days, that does put your chances of making the team in jeopardy. So it is, it's a lot of pressure and it's trying to manage that pressure. You're going to feel it, you're going to be nervous, and that's all completely normal. But it's the hardest thing is not letting it get in the way of your performance because all of these athletes are incredibly prepared. They put in the work, they put in the numbers, and my hope for all of them is just to have that competition that I know that they're capable of doing to give themselves the best opportunity to make the team. Um, what does Team USA need this year? We need, I, we need, Team USA needs consistency. You know, we, we need to be able to go out and hit our events, especially in the three up three count format that is team finals. It really doesn't leave a lot of room for error because, you know, that's all you do, that's all you get. Three people up on each event and all three scores count. So that's to have consistency. You know, having big vaults will definitely help boost our scores because that's where, you know, we could set ourselves apart a little bit. Um, I would like to see more consistency, especially on the balance beam. You know, we've been a little bit shaky for a lot of the years. So if we, we can just stay focused and hit all our, our events, we can be in a good place. Else we'd like to add, um, speaking about the athletes in USA, your own experience. Um, I'm thinking. <laughs> Open mic. Uh, Open mic. No, I'm. I'm excited. I'm excited. This is a really cool environment to be in, and it's it's really difficult to be in as an athlete. Um, and I didn't anticipate how difficult it would be to be in my position because you feel, I just I feel it so deeply, and especially to the ones who have gotten injured, it's it's really hard to watch. Um, and I, like I said, I just hope they can go out, leave it all out on the floor and be proud of everything that they put in to get to this point and be proud of what they did. Um, and look back eventually and say, I'm so glad I did that. I gave it my all and it, it either worked or it didn't and that they know that there is life beyond gymnastics and it'll still be great.